Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Buckshot slash Ulan Gaming slash Corbin Harbor, whatever. Not even really sure what to call myself anymore. Uh, but I'm here to show you this cool project that I've been working on. Uh, hold on, let me switch this to dark mode real fast because it's more pleasant to look at. Uh, but I've been working on this project and I've been showing you guys this. Uh, the Age of Empires 3 companion app. This is an all-encompassing app complete with pretty much everything you would need for Age of Empires. It's not com currently complete yet. It's still in its alpha test state. I'm not the creator. I uh, the, the creator is going to be slash Hellpunch. Uh, he's on Reddit. He I've been helping him throughout the process, and he has given me access to it early, as well as the permission to record videos for it. So I'm here to show you guys what it's about. So uh, you can see we have a lot of different options here. Uh, you can see the current online players. We currently It's currently like 1.30 in the morning, so there aren't that many, but uh, there's just under 2,500. Just under 2,500. Um, but for... Obviously, this isn't obviously complete yet. There's a whole bunch of little stuff that's like not polished yet. But... Uh, to show you some stuff, here we have taunts, so you can have a little taunt, a little guide to show you uh, every single taunt in case you like forget one and you want to know what it was, for example. This one's not complete yet, but this is for build orders. There will be build orders for every single sieve, just kind of basic stuff to help you pick up new sieves and pick up new mechanics and stuff. Here is an unpolished and unorganized list of cards. Uh, full of little details. Not every shipment is obviously here yet, but there are a lot of cool stuff here and it will be more polished as we go through. Um, for example, Smoking Year uh, is there and it has all of its little details and there's lots of good information. Uh, it's just not quite complete yet. For Civilizations, you can see an overview of all Civ eventually. Uh, they're not actually in here yet, but you can click on them. Um, you can... As an added bonus, uh, whenever you click on one, uh, it plays the music that plays at the beginning of each game. Uh, you'll see me click this here, but I don't actually have my phone audio set to record right now, so you won't hear anything. But you will hear the song uh, that plays for each Civ. But um, it is something that you can turn off in the settings if that is something that you don't want to hear. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, I'm listed as a contributor towards the bottom of that page, by the way. Very proud of myself. Uh, this is a list of all buildings. Uh, eventually, each of these will be a button with all the text and interesting notes about each building. Uh, you will be able to click on each of these, and they will also be organized. And it's ob it's also not complete, but it's just to show you what, stu what stuff will be here in the future. This one is, I don't know if it's complete yet, but it is definitely usable. Uh, but this is a tab where you can scroll down and view every single map. So if you're loading into a match and you're not quite sure where a hunt is or where a coin mine is uh, or a landmark is, you can just pull this up and take a look at it. It's all in alphabetical order. So that is something that you can absolutely do. Uh, I know for a fact that I don't know the Great Rift off the top of my head, so if I showed up in a game, that's not something I would want to do. This is the same thing as the building tab, but for units. Uh, from here, you'll be able to see all the information, things like costs, population, stats, multipliers, upgrades, all the stuff for the units. Uh, this is uh, this is just a placeholder here, but this will eventually be a guide over unit countering. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the test screen is for, but whatever it is, it's incomplete. Uh, eventually here, you'll be able to uh, make your own deck by dragging and dropping. Uh, this is obviously just a very, very rough sketch of it, but uh, it's something that is definitely in the process. Uh, towards the bottom, you'll see that we have a resource calculator that's not created yet as well as info for all of the explorers, as well as cheats and cheat units. But that is not all that it has. Uh, over here on the second tab, we have a news section that is connected to, the Age of, connected to the Age of Empires website, so you'll be able to look at patch notes and stuff 
that comes out. So you won't need to search it up online, you can just hop right into this app. There's also an EVO ladder uh, for Supremacy, Team, Treaty, and Deathmatch. Uh, you can even search players up for it. So I can search up myself here for a second. Uh, you can see my ELO and my win rate. Uh, you can follow. If you double click it, it will add it to your profile. Uh, currently the profile is not actually complete. It just lists that. It just lists. So now let's go back to the ELO ladder. I'll search myself up again here one second. So now you search me up and uh, you could see my win rate for team as well. Uh, you can also see in my you can also see my lack of rank for treaty and deathmatch. I've never played those. Um, but you could also search up anybody else. This is something that the Age of Empires thing is listing is missing. Uh, so I have you can follow people by checking the heart right there, and they will appear here. And you can even see a chart showing off people's progress throughout the ladder. Uh, over here aren't the settings. You can just basically change the dark mode and the music. Uh, it's still in early access, and currently me and the creator are the only people who have access to it, but I will be coming out with updates for this. So if you would like to follow this project, please subscribe to my channel, and I will continue to pump out updates for this video. Uh, so please sub. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.